When it comes to taking money out of your retirement accounts, what are your options? Sheldon Weiner of Eganberger Weiner LLC is here with more on the do's and don'ts of investing and retirement planning. Welcome back, Sheldon. Sonia, thank you for having me. So explain it all to us. So what are we talking about when we're talking about uh, taking money out of our retirement accounts? A lot of people make mistakes. You're leaving your job, you're changing jobs, you're, you're retiring, excited. you're excited. <laughs> you go down for your final exit interview and you wind up with a stack of papers that big and asking you questions you have no idea how to ask, answer them mm -hmm. and many people make mistakes. Okay. So what are some of your options? And there are several. Number one, of course, you can leave it there with your old company. Okay. Don't like that particularly. Yeah, because you're leaving the company. Why would you want to keep this? Exactly. If you leave the company, it can't be as good as when you were there. Right. Anymore. <laughs> uh, so very seldom do we like that. Plus the fact that many 401k plans are expensive. It might be too aggressive. Your choices might be too um, conservative for okay. you. So very seldom do we like leaving it there. Okay. The next part is you can take it as an annuitization, but that puts you on a fixed income. Mm -hmm. Or you can take it out in a lump sum. Now that's what Uncle Sam wants you to do. Okay. But because you pay taxes. Right. And you get hit hard. So let us say you're in a 28% tax bracket. You're 45 years old. You've got 200,000 in your 401k. If you just take it out, you're going to wind up paying about $56,000 in taxes wow. and a $20,000 penalty because you're under 59 and a half. Right. When you said 45, I. I perked up. I thought, wait a minute, we're retiring at 45? Well, maybe moving to another job. Sure. According to Hewitt Associates, almost half the people do exactly that. When they yeah. leave their old job, they just take the cash out. Right. Big, big mistake. Okay. Okay. Uh, the correct way to do it, about 95% of the time, is move it to an IRA. Oh. By moving it to a self-directed IRA, okay. it gives you complete control. You decide how aggressive you want to be, how conservative. It's possible that you, the uh, internal charges could be less. Mm -hmm. You have less problem with beneficiary designations. And the whole world of investing opens up for you. So that is the way to do it for most people. A word of caution, okay. however. Mm -hmm. If in your IRA, you excuse me, in your 401k, you have company stock, right. you've got to be very careful with that. Okay. Because when you sell company stock in the 401k, you're taxed at capital gains rates. All right, let's let's pause for a second because <laughs> okay. let me go back because you lost me a little bit at, at um, company stock. Is that ever really something we should consider? Oh, it? absolutely. Okay. Uh, many of the bigger corporations give company stock right. that's sometimes in a 401k, sometimes not. So when it's in a 401k. And if you sell it from the 401k, you're taxed at capital gains rates, which is currently 15% okay. for most people. As soon as you move it to an IRA and then sell it to take it out, you're taxed at your tax bracket. Okay. And one thing we know about tax brackets, they're high and going higher. So that is very seldom the way to do it. So move it to an IRA. There are specific things you can do if you do have company stock okay. to help negate some of that expense. And also, you need to be careful if you're going to move it to a Roth IRA. Now, that we like Roth IRAs. They're great. But the problem is you pay taxes along the way. So what is the big difference between an IRA, traditional IRA, and a Roth IRA? Uh, the basic difference is a traditional IRA may or may not be deductible going in. It grows okay. tax deferred, fully taxable coming out. The Roth IRA is never tax deductible, grows tax deferred, and if you follow the rules, comes out tax free. And any accountant will tell you tax deferred is better than taxable, and tax free is better than tax deferred. We we just don't like paying the taxes, That's right? right. We, just right? Don't I, don't pay when you don't have yeah, to. If you don't have to, uh, you pay your fair share enough anyway. So uh, people are retiring later because they yeah, they need the money now. So so people are thinking about these things. When's a good time to start thinking about moving your money, getting your money? When should one really start thinking about okay. those options? Normally, when you get into your mid to late fifties is when we really concentrate on that. Okay. Uh, you can't, if you're still working for the same company, you can't move out of your 401k without penalty until 59 and a half. Mm -hmm. So normally after 59 and a half, most individuals can move it wherever they want, self-directed IRA, and that is often the best way to go. 
Uh, again, depends on the individual situation. You need to sit down and look at your situation because everybody is unique. Great. Thank you so much, Sheldon Weiner sure. of Eganberger Weiner LLC. Putting the Weiner in Eganberger Weiner. <laughs> Thanks for being here and joining us once again. More Thank Let's you. Talk Lives coming up. Stick with us right here.